so we're ready? Yep. Okay. Five, four, three. Hello. Um, Hello. I assume we are live now. So, hi everybody. My name is Sinutro and I'm the first run of UKSG Summer 2020. Hey everyone. Um, with me I have my lovely co-commentator and host donation reader, Soneris. Hello, it's me again. You've probably heard my voice, voice by now, at least once. At least once. And Maybe. we are all set up to go, so Soneris, do me the honor and count down. Alright everybody, get hype. We're starting to run in three, two, one, go! Good luck. Thank you. So, welcome to The Witness. The Witness is a puzzle game where you draw lines like this. So, every puzzle has a starting point and an ending point. And here in the start, it's just a tutorial where you just need to find the ending point. And there's not much to it. It's literally just draw from the finish to the end. Uh, from the start to the end, obviously. Um, but as the game progresses, uh, progresses, there will be some rules added. So you have to fulfill the rules to find the correct answer to the puzzle. With that, we are already out of the tutorial. And usually the game is built up. So the town middle where we head in first right now is the hardest area basically because it has all the different rules you have in the run or in the game and just combined with each other. But we do it first because the laser is actually quite fast and we technically would need 11 lasers. Um, whoops. But we found out you only need seven to reach the final area of the game. So we're only gonna do seven of the 11 lasers you need to find. So lasers are in each area basically. And it's the very last puzzle of each area. And that activates the laser. The laser activates the door to the final area. So right here, for example, there are all the different things you saw. Like on the first few, there were t dots on the line. And actually, we are already coming up to the snipe, which Xoneris will explain what be why, why I need to concentrate for it. OK, so. You're gonna see something pretty amazing now. Uh, you've seen him solve a few of these puzzles by now. But now he's gonna attempt one of these snipes. So essentially what he's doing, he's solving one of these puzzles from very, very, very far away. By standing in a very precise spot. And uh, yeah, as you can see right now. Uh, he can barely see anything. But he exactly knows what to do. It's just uh, saving time by, by doing them from a very great distance instead of going all the way up there. Which is pretty cool. Exactly. Save time. We skip a few puzzles by just doing it from the snipe area. Right here, that's a multi-panel. So we have a few of them in the run. That just means like on the same panel, you solve different solutions. Which you can all find... Uh, throughout the game, basically. Even though there were like basically no rules on that. And that's the first laser, by the way. Um, even though you didn't see any rules for that, there are rules. I don't want to spoil too much, but let's just say you need to look at it differently to find out what you have to do for those. And now we are actually coming up to another really neat skip, so this right here is the jungle area. We are only gonna do the start of it and then we will come back and do the end of the jungle. And that has one specific reason. 
because as soon as I'm done with this one, we will head over to the bunker. Bunker over here has a really long elevator and since that would take forever to wait for it, we're just gonna go back, finish up the jungle and in the meantime the elevator went all the way up where we needed to be. And yeah, it's a really neat skip and saves a lot of time. Oops. That's also something I do quite often, I'm sorry about that. Um, I just click too early and then the puzzle isn't solved properly. There we go. So doors usually are just uh, one straight line. Um, sometimes it's a little bit more than that, but it's technically always just a straight line up or down. Uh, because it's just for opening doors. And right here we're coming up on the elevator, I mean. So down here there's the elevator. We need to send him all the way up. Like, not all the way up. The second to last floor. And we can hop on that elevator then. But as I said, that will take a while and now we're gonna finish up the jungle in the meantime. Um, the jungle has quite a unique solution thingy, like rule, which you might realize what it is by the beautiful sounds you hear right now. Um, but now we come up to the trapdoor. Okay, the trapdoor is kind of obnoxious, so we need to stand in a very specific lo uh, position and then run as fast as possible over this trapdoor. So we skip um, going around it. Otherwise, I would need to like waste 50, uh, yeah, about 50 seconds maybe if you're slower. And walk all the way around back to this area where I just solved them. But if you run over it fast enough, you can just skip it. And that's the next laser and this little door right here. Which is actually just a shortcut. But we used it to go all the way to the elevator. And now we take the elevator to the top and that's the next laser. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And by failing this panel twice, we go down uh, faster than it's usually. Like, usually if you want to go down, you just fail the panel once. But if you do it more times, it will go down even faster. Here. We come up to Monastery, which is probably... Okay, maybe the second fastest laser. Um, this has basically the same solution as the multi-panel in town. Like, yeah, the basically the same rule. You can figure out how you solve them by just looking around you and finding out the things it wants from you. So if you haven't played this game, whoops, if you haven't played this game, this might be a little bit confusing, but if you at least played this game for a little bit, you know exactly what's going on. Especially if you did like the first two areas, you basically should know what the game is about. So that was the next laser, we only need three more lasers. And now we come up to the shadows, and shadows is also quite funny because so there is this door here we are supposed to open by doing tons of puzzles but if you just stand right here you can solve the panel actually already so we don't need to do all of shadows and we can just straight up finish the laser puzzle okay maybe actually that's the fastest laser obviously <laughs> and we gonna do another one that's really fast and after this one right here in the keep. 
that's also quite fast. So for the any percent route, we only took the lasers that you can either skip completely or skip most of the parts. Just need to walk through these mazes and solve the puzzles and we are pretty much already at the laser panel. Which is the second to last panel. Mm -hmm. oy, oy, oy. Okay, so I didn't practice much today and yesterday, but for not practicing that much, I'm doing quite alright, I feel like. You were practicing uh, something else. Yeah, something else. I don't know what, but. Uh, you might or it? might not see it later today. Maybe. And you might hear a voice as well. So now we're gonna go to the swamp and if you played this game, especially swamp, it's like really slow. It has tons of puzzles, there are auto scrollers and it's really really slow, but we're gonna do some most knives. So I kinda need to focus again a little bit. These are much more easier, I can tell you in that. Just like that and that you uh, actually it's just a shortcut so whenever you're done with the whole area this is supposed to be a shortcut to get back out of here again but we use it with the snipes to get in and just go straight to the laser so and since we need to wait so the laser takes a while to um, hit the final area point so we have a little bit of time for some donations right here all right hey uh so we got five dollars here from anonymous with the comment first question mark first i mean i guess i mean it's it's the first donation during the marathon but not the donation for the marathon so i guess kind of but thank you regardless anonymous for your donation uh also, by the way, a quick reminder in chat, uh, if you have that very cool Amazon Prime, uh, please consider dropping your Twitch Prime here at the ESA channel to support ESA Oops. and all of their, uh, uh, their awesome. projects like uh, UKSG and uh, BSG and all the cool stuff. Okay, so as you see, that box just opened up whenever the laser hit the final point. Now we are inside the mountain, so... Inside the mountain is like very annoying for the runner, but amazing for viewers. Because it's really kind of hard at times to do it really fast. But the puzzles are very fun to look at. Oops. Also, by the way, I, I just saw this, but the $5 donation we just got uh, went towards the Final Fantasy X incentive for naming the main character Titus Yuna, <laughs> which is kind of hilarious, to be honest. All right. Oh God, okay, that was very bad. So if a puzzle is Tilted like that, uh, controls are getting kind of annoying, but I can deal with it actually quite f uh, easily, but apparently not today. And you might start noticing that the panels look kind of off a little bit. And that also impacts like how you solve the puzzle. Since the visual is different from what you need to uh, draw, right? You need to draw the right solution on the normal panel, but the panel is moving and doing all that fun stuff. And here you just have some little grids over your usual panel. So you technically need to uh, 
the, behind the grids. And with that we are up to floor 2. Which is also some beautiful visuals. Wonderful rainbow color puzzles. Those are actually quite easy if you know the solutions for it. And yes, the runners know all the solution and have them remembered in their head. Especially this one is great to look at. With these panels, I think I didn't mention yet, we draw actually the line we walk on. So you have to solve a panel and that's the line we walk on to get to the next area, which is quite fun. Here another multi-panel, so every time I solve one of those, there will be a new rule added like this. And so in the end we have like six rules to uh, draw the line after. But actually it's quite easy since you can just do the first two the same way, the second two the same way and the last two the same way. As I just did. So here you actually even have two lines to draw as a floor platform thingy. So you need to like solve around the other one you just draw on the other side. And if you do that back and forth a few times you have the right solution to get to the final area. Just like... Oops like this and now we have another elevator and this one we cannot skip so that's time for another donation uh oh, okay uh, currently there's no donation right now but i would like to thank esa by the way this is the channel you're watching right now for supporting this marathon besides providing us with their channel for streaming uh, they're also sharing Dear technical assistants and sponsors, and uh, be sure to check out ESA Summer Online, which starts from the 24th of July till the 2nd of August, which is going to be an absolutely awesome event. So uh, come back for that in a few days after UKSG is done. It's gonna be amazing. Yes. So right here we have some floor panels. And depending on what how you solve them, it uh, the the it intends what you need to draw on the big one. Okay, so this right here is RNG. I have no control over this. Oops. Uh, so that was pretty easy, and this is free, free. Oh no, 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 no. There we go. Okay, so these are RNG. Yeah? And sometimes they can literally bite you in the butt, but those were quite alright. And with that we are really at the final area. Just need to solve these pillars. These pillars are really annoying as well. Since if you go too fast there is a uh, quite a high chance to get a little glitch and that like just flicks your mouse to the one or the other side and it's really annoying if you want to go fast. So here we see another of those dots. Mm -hmm. Okay, kind of shaky but that's fine. And we actually always do the left pillars first so all of this can spawn. And while we wait, we can do the right one, so we don't lose, lose any time, since this needs to finish up anyways. And if we are too slow on these, it doesn't matter, since it only starts counting from now, when the doors are open. Now the stones appear. Can maybe say hi. Hello. Time and coming up, by the way. Yeah, exactly. Time is coming up in 3, 2, 1, time. So that's the witness, everybody. It's a really beautiful puzzle game. Ah! 
Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, really beautiful puzzle game. Really great as a speedrun, and the community is just awesome. So, I had an incentive, if I remember correctly, that is Matt or the uh, witness. Uh, last time I checked, I think it was uh, matched. Yes. Um, let me just. Uh, yeah, yeah. $25 out of $25. Sweet. Okay. So I so guess I'm. Time for just... some uh, bonus stuff here. Exactly. Awesome. So even more witness for you guys. Okay, so. Whew. I would be ready. Um, do we uh, have a timer? I don't know. I mean, uh, it looks like it's still running. Okay. Um, time. <laughs> oh wait, now it's stopped. Hey. <laughs> what time was I at actually? Uh, it says 1958, but uh, that's probably in the, like it's not. You, yeah, it's sub 20. That's that's correct. that's fine. That was pretty decent. I'm happy. All right. So you want another countdown or? Uh... Um. E yeah, yeah. All right. The witness uh, bonus incentive challenge Ch time trial in three, two. One, go! Okay, so welcome to the challenge. This is the secret area of the game. And if you find out how to get here in the first place, you are greeted with this amazing time challenge. This is all RNG. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's great. So it's one, two, and okay, fine. I can remember that. So we need to remember that, since that is the maze we're gonna walk through. And I already forgot it again, that's fine. And while we are running this amazing RNG fest, some classical music is playing, which will be... <sighs> will be fun. It's not like pressuring me, uh, pressure at all. Okay, right now I'm kind of stuck because I don't know what the game wants from me. One, three, three. So I need to place these uh, in the order where I can collect both of them or none of them. That doesn't make any sense right now, so that's not good. Uh, I'm probably thinking wrong again, which is not great. There we go, okay. So, technically, these are always the same. Like, the the type of passes, so the rules are the same. It's always two of them and two of them. Like, one of them, one of them, one of them. But, like, what you need to solve is always different. Is this? Um, it's really hard if you don't know the rules, so I need to go back actually because I literally forgot it was one, two, or something. Yeah, one right, two left, and then end. Okay, good. So you can make lots of different ways to actually remember that. So one in this area now we need to do it. so the two dots you saw on the puzzle panel one two one two one two i need to think so hard right now okay one two one two one two one two one two because uh, the the thing is, you're on a timer, so that's like kind of confusing as well, or like kind of pressuring. So if you don't know the right solutions, you're 
kind of in a bad spot. I'm literally quite bad right now, so that's really not good at all. One, two, one. And now I'm stuck at this panel, which is also... Oh my god, I'm really stuck. That's not good. Okay, so... If I go back and resolve that one, I should be fine. Hopefully. Since that resets like the puzzle that's supposed to be here if I... Yeah, okay, nice. See, and that's like way easier. Now we just go all the way to the end, find the second one. One, one, two, three, one. Oop. Oh, my brain is racing right now. Um. really bad one as well. So one, two, one, one, three, there we go, oh my god. Okay, so we're good, we're good. We only need to do those, those more and I can explain a little bit different. So right here we have three white ones and the other one is right there, okay. Dude, these are really bad right now, that's not good. It's over here, that should work. Okay, good. Now I just need to collect all of them and then we are good to go. Even though the timer is like getting really close at this point. Uh, I need the other starting point, thank you. Mm -hmm. And you might remember, uh, know some of these songs since they are really, really, really famous. This is really bad. So that's all of the Mountain King for you. Which is like not the stressful song at all. I got it! I got it! I got it! We're good! We're good! I got it! <laughs> wow! Oh boy. Oh boy! <laughs> okay, that was really close. I can explain a little bit. That's... Okay. Whew. Wow. These were kind of hard. <laughs> so... The panels are always the same, for example, right here, okay? So it, this one is always uh, black and white, and this is always dots. And so with everything, but the solution and where the dots are placed and where the colors are placed are always different. And for this one, I looked at it again because in the very first panel, or, or like the fourth one it is, I solved exactly this area right here. So, however you solve it, you need to walk this way uh, between this maze right here. So it was like one to the right, two to the front, all the way to the back, and then through to the finish line. And you need to like calculate everything and like the things with the little Doritos I solved in here. That's like how often you need to hit the square for example, right? So I was like counting in my head and like, wait, I need to explain things and it's a wild. But yeah, we did it. I got it in the end. I still had like maybe a minute in-game time-ish thingy. I went maybe over as that made, I think. 
because I got really stuck at the maze, but other than that this was fine. And don't worry, Hall of the Mountain King does not pressure you at all, I promise. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the witness for you and this like, the challenge is pretty hard on its own, but then it's RNG and it's even harder, so... It's literally uh, quite the experience, so... If you want to practice this, this is something else. Whew. Okay, I'm 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 happy though. I'm so happy that I finished it. So that's the challenge. Uh, I hope you enjoyed everything, the run and the challenge. And yeah, that's it for me for now. GG, my dude. Thank you. Um, so, uh, yeah. Guess you're done. Any any final words? No. Thank you Otherwise. for watching and enjoy the marathon. Yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, 